The first step to survival in the darkness is knowledge. Understanding the creatures that lurk in the shadows and the dangers they pose is crucial. The night is a different world, and the things that live and hunt in the darkness are often much different from the creatures we encounter during the day. It's important to know how each creature behaves, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and what you can do to protect yourself if you encounter them. For example, some creatures, like werewolves, are incredibly fast and have heightened senses. Others, like vampires, can control your mind and are incredibly strong. Demons are extremely powerful and can be almost impossible to fight, while giant spiders are venomous and can move quickly and climb walls. By understanding these creatures, you can learn how to identify their presence, how to avoid or deter them, and how to protect yourself if you are forced to confront them. This knowledge can help you stay safe and increase your chances of survival in the darkness. In addition to understanding the creatures themselves. It's also important to know the environment you're in. The night is dark, and it can be difficult to see what's around you. Knowing the terrain and the layout of your surroundings can help you avoid danger and navigate your way to safety. Overall, knowledge is power when it comes to surviving in the darkness. It's essential to understand the creatures that lurk in the night and the dangers they pose, as well as the environment you're in. With this knowledge, you can prepare yourself to face the darkness and come out alive. According to folklore, a person can become a werewolf through a curse, a bite from another werewolf, or a pact with the devil. Once transformed, a werewolf has heightened senses, incredible speed, and powerful jaws and claws. They are typically aggressive and can be difficult to kill or stop. If you encounter a werewolf, the first thing you should do is stay quiet and move away slowly. Do not try to outrun it or engage it in combat, as this can provoke an attack. Instead, move away carefully, trying not to attract the werewolf's attention. If you must fight a werewolf, you'll need to use a silver bullet. In most versions of the werewolf legend, a silver bullet is the only thing that can kill or incapacitate a werewolf. This is because silver is thought to be a powerful metal with mystical properties that can harm supernatural beings. You'll need to aim carefully and hit the werewolf in a vital area to ensure that the silver bullet is effective. Overall, encountering a werewolf is a rare occurrence, but it's essential to know how to protect yourself if you ever find yourself face to face with one. Remember to stay quiet and move away slowly, and if you must fight, use a silver bullet to take down the beast. Before we go on with the tips, I remind you to subscribe and leave like the video to support the channel. Next on our list is the vampire. Vampires have been a popular subject of horror movies and literature for centuries, and they are often depicted as seductive, powerful, and bloodthirsty creatures. So it's still important to know the myths and legends surrounding them in case you ever encounter a vampire-like entity. According to vampire lore, these creatures are incredibly strong and fast, with heightened senses that allow them to see in the dark and hear from great distances. They can also control your mind and make you do their bidding, which makes them especially dangerous. Vampires are also said to be repelled by garlic, so carrying garlic with you can help deter them and keep them at bay. If you find yourself in a situation where you must fight a vampire, your best bet is to use a wooden stake. According to legend, a wooden stake through the heart is the only surefire way to kill a vampire. You'll need to aim carefully and strike with force to ensure that the stake goes deep enough to hit the vampire's heart. In addition to a wooden stake, you may also want to carry a crucifix or holy water. These items are said to repel vampires and can help protect you in case of an attack. You should also avoid direct sunlight, as vampires are said to be weakened or even destroyed by exposure to sunlight. Our next creature is the demon. According to mythology and folklore, demons are supernatural beings often depicted as malevolent spirits or fallen angels who seek to cause harm and chaos. They are believed to possess immense power and intelligence, and can be incredibly difficult to fight or even destroy. Demons are notorious for their ability to possess human beings, manipulating their actions and thoughts thoughts for their own malevolent purposes. In some beliefs, the process of demon possession is initiated by making a pact with the demon or by engaging in practices that are seen as sinful or taboo. When faced with a demon, it is crucial to be careful who you trust as the demon may attempt to manipulate and deceive individuals to further their own agenda. It is often advised to seek the assistance of an experienced exorcist or a religious figure who is well versed in the rituals and methods of demon exorcism. One common weapon against demons is holy water. Holy water is water that has been blessed by a priest or religious figure and is believed to have the power to ward off evil spirits, including demons. 
It is often used in exorcism rituals and is also used in various religious ceremonies and practices. It is important to note that holy water should be used with caution and only in conjunction with other measures of protection. In some beliefs, demons may have varying degrees of vulnerability to certain objects or substances, including religious symbols, prayers, incantations, and even specific types of plants or herbs. It is crucial to be well informed about the specific beliefs and practices surrounding demon possession and exorcism in different cultures and religions, as well as seeking professional assistance when necessary to ensure the safety and well-being of oneself and others. Our final creature is the giant spider. Giant spiders are a common creature in mythology and folklore, often depicted as large and terrifying creatures with venomous fangs and multiple eyes. In some cultures, giant spiders are believed to be supernatural beings or demons, while in others, they are considered simply to be a dangerous animal. These creatures are known for their incredible speed and agility, as well as their ability to climb walls and ceilings, making them difficult to avoid or escape from. Giant spiders are also known for their venom, which can be lethal to humans, especially those who are allergic to spider bites. To fight a giant spider, one common suggestion is to use bug spray. Bug spray is a type of insecticide that is designed to kill insects and other arthropods, including spiders. It contains chemicals that are toxic to insects, and when sprayed on a spider, it can quickly kill it. However, it is important to note that not all bug sprays are effective against all types of spiders. Some spiders may have developed a resistance to certain types of insecticides, while others may simply be too large or well armored to be affected by the chemicals in bug spray. In addition, bug spray can be harmful to humans and pets if used improperly, so it is important to follow the instructions on the label carefully. Other methods of fighting a giant spider include using physical force, such as hitting or crushing the spider with a heavy object, or using a vacuum cleaner or broom to sweep it up and dispose of it. It is important to exercise caution and to avoid direct contact with the spider to minimize the risk of being bitten or exposed to its venom. In general, it is best to avoid encountering giant spiders if possible by keeping living spaces clean and free of clutter, sealing up cracks and openings in walls and floors, and wearing protective clothing when in areas where spiders are known to be present. In any situation, knowledge is crucial to survival. Knowing what creatures or dangers may be present in your environment as well as how to identify and respond to them can mean the difference between life and death. Staying aware of your surroundings is an important aspect of staying safe, especially in unfamiliar or potentially dangerous environments. Being alert and attentive to your surroundings can help you identify potential threats and take steps to avoid them or mitigate their effects. Being prepared for anything means having the tools and resources you need to respond to any situation. This may include carrying a first aid kit, a source of light or heat or other emergency supplies, as well as knowing basic survival skills such as how to start a fire or build a shelter. At the end of the day, the best way to stay safe is to be proactive and take steps to protect yourself and those around you. By staying informed, prepared, and alert, you can increase your chances of surviving even the most challenging situations. If you found this information helpful, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more tips and advice on staying safe in a variety of environments. And if you found this video informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and stay safe.